I'm speaking to you from the Monongahela Incline Plane Company. I'm speaking to you from an area that you as a passenger might never see. And this is the engine room. And I have here uh, with me Mr. Uh, Phil G. Eisenhofer, who is the superintendent. And uh, would you tell us about the equipment? I guess a run just started here, didn't it? That's right. We just started a run. The motor room here uh, is the power that operates the incline cars that move up and down the hillside. We have two 52 DC motors which uh, work together and uh, they, are, they in turn move two large shivs over which a inch and a quarter cable is threaded and also connected to both cars. One's the, going up and one's going down. That's the right. They call that they call that the funicular system. Uh -huh. Now that that inch and a quarter has a, fi a safety factor of seven. In other words, it will pull seven times the the amount that it, when we have a full load. In other words, a full load is seven ton, and it will pull seven times that amount. Well, now. Uh, this cable is replaced about how often it wears out, I presume. That's right, it does wear. And aside from uh, our own maintenance men and the insurance company inspectors, it's constantly uh, inspected. And uh, when the outer side or the smallest wire on the outside of the cable shows a slight wear, it is replaced. It generally takes about two years or two years and a half. Oh, you that mentioned to safety factor there a minute ago. You do have safety factors built in here too, don't you? There are seven safety factors uh, which all must function before the cars will move. Uh -huh. One of them is a separate mechanism which is another room. That is an air brake arrangement. It is a large drum of about 12 foot in diameter which, which is uh, actuated by air itself, similar to a streetcar. And that is one of the, the uh, safety factors that uh, uh, we, uh, we uh, very seldom call upon, but it is there if we need it. And that's a separate cable, too. That that's a separate the two cars. That's right. There's yeah. a separate cable for that mechanism itself. Then there are, in these electronic devices here, there are the other things that I spoke of, the seven different methods centrifugal force, dead man switch, uh, uh, pressure on the doors, the slow down switches, and so on that we could talk about. Well, now there's a governor, isn't there, right up in the middle there? Uh, that, what does that do? That is a uh, the centrifugal force that I just mentioned. That governor, uh, as the cars move, it rotates at a certain speed. If the car should increase, the, the rotation would enlarge in diameter and thereby uh, shut off the uh, switch, the relays in the switch gear. Uh, and uh, the one we're talking about, in case people don't recognize the name uh, of the incline, is the one right behind the PLE station, isn't it? On the... That's right. It's the one that is uh, near the PLE station or at the end of the Smithfield Street Bridge. Uh, we, we like to say this that it is the oldest incline plane for carrying passengers in America. And since uh, 1935, when it was rebuilt, it is now the newest incline equipment. The equipment we're looking at here, then, was built in 1935. That's right. That was brought in in 1935. Well, they're making another run here. Uh, of course, it's the same procedure every time. About how many times do you run in a day? In a day, we make about 180 trips. Uh, of course, if we get a lot of tourists like we did last summer, then that would maybe uh, multiply by two. Uh, it takes us a minute and 30 seconds to make a trip. About how far is that trip? It's 480 feet. Uh -huh. And that, uh, how high is that if you went straight up? <laughs> you oh, know? about, uh, it's about 300 feet above. Uh, in other words, we, at the top of Mount Washington, is about a uh, thousand feet above sea level and downtown Pittsburgh is about 600 feet above sea level. Uh, so uh, do you have much uh, commuter traffic? Last year we had a total of a little better than a half a million total passengers. 200,000 tourists 
and 300,000 regular commuters who use it to go to work and shop, etc. So your uh, tourist attraction is, uh, well, it's pretty close to 50-50 then, isn't it? This year we increased our tourists. We've increased them every year since we began the tourist uh, uh, coming here about four or five years ago. This year will probably be 250,000 tourists. Well now, uh, you mentioned the safety factor and all of this, you've uh, mentioned the modernization. Uh, is there anything else that we haven't touched on here as far as behind the scenes operation goes? Yes, behind the scenes we have great plans here. They aren't fully materialized, but uh, it looks as though we're going to have new stations and probably a large new observation deck with restaurant and all the facilities. So we have approximately a four or five acres of ground here that can be utilized. Uh -huh. And uh, how about the, uh, well, your equipment is constantly being overhauled and everything, isn't it, kept right up to date? It's constantly being inspected and uh, we have three men who take care of the maintenance, uh -huh. aside from insurance companies coming in because we do carry liability insurance. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Eisenhower. That's all the time that we have from the Monongahela Incline. Let's see now where the magic carpet will take us next.